All right, so how big is WordPress? Well, we know that WordPress powers about 32% of the modern web. That's millions of websites that use WordPress either for everyday blogs to Fortune 500 company type websites, e-commerce websites, small business websites, real estate websites, and everything in between. We know that WordPress is used by people all over the world. It uses the coding languages of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, PHP and it uses MySQL as the database. And most often it runs on a Linux server. So all this we know. We also know that since it started back in 2003, WordPress has continuously grown over the years and it's become the number one choice for people who wanna get either a blog or a business site website. So these are facts that we know. But again, how big is WordPress? Or in other words, how many lines of code are there within WordPress itself? That's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm gonna to show you how to use the command line to determine how many lines of code exist in WordPress, or for that matter, any coding project that you're working on. It could be your themes, it could be your plugins, and it doesn't even have to be WordPress. It could be any framework you're using. It could be um, pretty much any type of project you're engaged in. So let's find out how many lines of code exist in WordPress. But before we do that, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscription button and the notification icon. So that way, whenever I create new videos, you'll be notified. Also, if you wanna learn how to code a WordPress theme, I'll leave a link to one of my videos on how to create your own custom theme. And that'll be up in the cards in the upper right hand corner and down in the description area. So definitely check that out. All right, let's jump on the computer. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is go to wordpress.org. And I'm gonna to go to the button over here that says get WordPress. And then I'm gonna download the latest version of WordPress, which is WordPress 5.0. The reason why I'm doing this is because I wanna get an accurate count of how many lines of code there is within WordPress itself from a fresh installation or from a fresh copy of the software. All right, so once you download it, I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. And then from here, I'm gonna extract the folder. All right, once the folder has been extracted, we're gonna see we have it here. So I'm gonna X out of this one here. I'll bring this right here. And what I'm gonna do is open up my Atom text editor. And I'm gonna take this folder here, the WordPress folder, and I'm gonna drag it into the text editor right here. All right, so this is WordPress. When you get a fresh download of it from the root folder itself, WordPress right there, we have the wp-admin folder, the content folder, the includes folder, and we have some of these files here as well. Notice the file extensions. We have PHP, we have HTML, we have .txt. If we go into some of the folders, you're gonna see it continues being PHP. You might find some XML in there. Go into the wp-admin. You see we have the CSS folder. We have images. We're not gonna be going into counting how many images or actual files there are. What I wanna do is actually get a sense of how many lines of code. If we go into the content folder, you see we have the themes folder here and we have the plugins folder. All right, so this is a fresh installation of WordPress itself. Let's just open up one of the um, files here. If we see in the mini map here to the right, if we scroll down, we see how many lines of code are within this one file itself. In this file, there's 1,056 lines. If we go back to the actual folder here, when we look at the properties, we see there's uh, 1,709 files within 172 folders itself. And that's a lot of files, and that's a lot of folders. So if you wanted to go the manual approach of actually opening up every single file, scrolling to the bottom, and keeping a running tally of how many lines are within that file, that's gonna take you a while. So now let's do this a smarter way. I'm gonna open up um, Git Bash over here. I'm on a Windows computer, and the commands I'm gonna show you are good for Linux distributions, works on Mac OS in the terminal itself, and on Windows machines with Bash installed or set up properly. So in this case, I'm using git bash. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna type out the change directory command, and then over here, I'm just gonna drag this in. So now we see the path there. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, let me make this larger we're gonna be using some commands via the command line. So the first command we're gonna be using is find, and then we're gonna use the period because we wanna start off in the current directory. 
and then we're going to use dash name and then we're going to use a pattern so we're going to use our single quotation mark there we're going to use an asterisk because we want to find all files with the extension of php because we know that wordpress uses php but we also want to find the other file extensions as well so we're going to use the dash o and this is like the or operator then we'll type out dash name again single quotation marks the asterisk dot js because we know that wordpress uses javascript we got to close off our single quotation marks so this is the pattern right here so we have the opening and closing quotation marks the asterisk dot php or dash name remember there's a space there and then our opening and closing single quotation marks asterisk dot js and then we'll type out dash o again dash name single quotation marks asterisk dot css and then we're going to type out dash o again dash name i believe there's some hc access files in there as well now we could if we wanted to we can include the the txt files and see if there's any html files as well so i'm just going to put those in here so we'll type out dash o dash name html I'm going to repeat this process for the other types of file extensions as well. All right, so just to recap, we have the find command here, the period for the current directory that we're in, dash name, we're looking for all PHP files, or dash name, all JavaScript files, or all CSS files any HTTP access files, any HTML files that might exist, any XML files, any TXT files. Now it's also possible they're using SCSS as well. So I'll just type out dash O dash name. And then we're gonna pipe, meaning we're gonna be using another command as well. So we're gonna be using the pipe character. It's typically found above the enter key on your keyboard put a space and then we're going to be using the zargs command that's x a r g s space w c for word count space dash lowercase l that is a lowercase l there you want to make sure you're using the proper case for all this so i'm using all lowercase letters within this string over here so now we're inside of wordpress itself and we're going to be looking for all these files once you have this written out press enter or return And now we see that it came back with a result. Now the thing is we have to take all these numbers here. So I'm gonna open up my calculator app. So we see the first total down here is 143,266. That's this total right here. But we have to scroll up and you can see all the files and folders that it scanned in order to get these results. So we're gonna scroll up all the way to see another total. We see this total over here of 400. So we're going to say plus 453,145. Then we're going to scroll up again. And we see this total right here. So we'll say plus 232,223. Scroll up further, see if we have any other totals. And that seems to be it. So now we'll just equal it. And this tells us we have 828,634 lines of code within WordPress. Now, if you notice over here, this number that is to the left of the actual file, this shows you how many lines of code are within that file itself. So in the top level index.php file, we have 17 lines of code. Let's verify that. 17 lines of code. So that is correct. Now, obviously there's some comments in there as well, but this is giving you a sense of how many lines of code are actually within WordPress. And you see, we have the TXT file here. We have a PHP file. 
We have the .html file for the readme file. We have the CSS files. And even though we use some other flags, because we use the, um, let me reduce the size of that. We use the .scss extension over here. If it doesn't exist within any of the folders, it won't find it or it won't utilize it. But we see that it does have a .scss file here. So that's it. That's how you can find how many lines of code exist within WordPress or any project you're working on. It could be for your themes. It could be for your plugins. Like for instance, let me scroll all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to use uh, Control L to bring this to the top. Type out present working directory. We see we're there. We could type out ls lah. And this is going to give us the uh, working structure for this directory here. Current directory, one level up. These are all the files and folders within this top level directory. So now we want to go into our WP content folder. So I'll type out change directory, CD space WP con. Then hit tab for the completion of that. You can hit enter. You can type out LS dash LAH again. Now let's go into our themes folder. All right, so here we see we have the three themes here. So I want to see how many lines of code are in the new theme 2019. So I'm going to change directories. We got to put a space there. And now what I want to do is I'm going to scroll up through all my commands until I get to this long command here. I could have retyped out everything, but by using the up arrow, I could just go back through all the commands I used. So again, we're going to find from the current directory, which is 2019, how many lines of code are within this theme. And we're going to be looking at the PHP files, the JavaScript files, CSS files. I doubt there's any HC access files there. I know there's no HC access files there, but you know, it's still there. So we can just leave the search for it there. Any HTML, XML, TXT, and SCSS files. Let's hit enter or return. And here it says 19,508 as a total for that. Let's scroll up, see if there's any other totals. All right, so for this here, we have 19,508 lines of code within the 2019 WordPress theme. And you can see all the files and folders that are scanned. Take note of this command right here. It's find space period space dash name space. Then you're going to put in your single quotation marks, the asterisk, and then the file extension, or, and then again, name for JavaScript, CSS, and all these other file extensions here. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Smash that notification icon so whenever I create a new video, you'll be notified. And if you want to know how to code a WordPress theme, check out the cards in the upper right hand corner and down in the description area. I'll leave a link to a video where I show you how to code a custom WordPress theme. And I'll also leave a link to where you can get the files for that. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care.